here so we will be learning about the memory storage of three dimensional array and this will now finally give us the idea about how higher dimensional arrays are stored in the computer memory which is linear so let's start we see there that we define an int integer array so this array is defined here at this point so this is int a222 which means it's a three dimensional array and it has so eight elements and what this code does it's very simple it prints all the elements and it sees what are the memory locations in which they are stored so as per our discussion so we see that it will be contiguous memory location because it is stack it is an array so let's have it one two three four five six seven and eight so eight parts are there and so we say so now let's see how it is divided so now we know that three dimensional array so it's a2 into 2 into 2 so it is now a kind of recursive so it is a2 into 2 into 2 is actually 2 2 dimensional array of size 2 into 2 so let's see what it means so we have two two dimensional arrays which are of size 2 into 2 that means 4 so this is the point so this is a two dimensional array and this is again a two dimensional array of size 2 into 2 so now again we know that uh, 2 into 2 size 2 dimensional array is basically again 2 1 dimensional array equal to 2 1 dimensional array so this if we remember then this is again now subdivided at this part and this is subdivided at this part so this is a two dimensional array this is a so this is whole is two dimensional array so now they are two one dimensional array here two one dimensional array so let's have it so this complete part is a of zero and then some values this complete part is a of one so this is a third in the third dimension it is one and these are some values so now this part considering this part so this is now a zero then this is also the first part so a zero zero and so this is the first one dimensional array this is the second one dimensional array So this one is so now it is a1 this is now 0 and this is the third to one dimensional array and this is a1 1 and so these are the different ways in it in which the array values are stored so we saw so this is the complete three dimensional array three dimensional array now it is divided into two 
टू डायमेंशनल अरे ऑफ साइज टू इंटू टू सो विच इज लाइक दिस फर्स्ट वन वॉज दिस एंड द नेक्स्ट वन वॉज दिस सो नाउ ईच ऑफ द टू डायमेंशनल अरे ऑफ साइज टू इंटू टू इज बेसिकली टू वन डायमेंशनल अरे ऑफ साइज बेसिकली वन इंटू टू सो दिस पार्ट दिस पार्ट सो दे आर टू वन डायमेंशन four one dimensional arrays and they are all of size 1 into 2 so this way the memory is divided and so now what happens is so we have to see how the memory it is stored so we have so let's see what is getting printed so we print a000 then a001 So a zero 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 is this one. So let's have some red color for correction. So this is a zero zero zero, which is now for us one. A zero zero one. So this is a. Ha. A zero zero one. So this is the one. Now a zero one zero. So zero. And one because this is the second part of the two-dimensional array. So this is three. Then zero one one. So this is zero one one is four. So five six seven and eight. So now let's try to run this code and really check for us ourselves that whether this code is running fine. So we run this code and we see the output again, which. is very similar to what we saw so when we see so this is the output as we saw in the theory which was preceded and then we see that okay so this is the contiguous memory location that we have to see so fp f0 this is fp f0 this is fp f4 so added 4 and this is a00 a001 So this is F E F eight. So every time, so linearly memory is increasing, and this is the memory structure for a three-dimensional array. So that's it for the presentation on a three-dimensional array pointer. So if we consider the pointer, so pointer is again A is the pointer which is a pointer to a pointer to a pointer a triple pointer kind of thing and similarly a 0 0 is the starting address and we can get other addresses so by so we will have a plus 2 here means that we are going into a 2 and then this these are all what we can access so if we apply a plus 2 so it will be a 2 0 0 this is the meaning so we should continue like this to find about the memory layout for a three dimensional array